Greetings my dear viewer and welcome to a 2 million pop scenario today with a, a special pop operations. Yeah, I, I once upon a time really hated this, but now I'm a bit indifferent about it. So we're going to do a classical dart start today just because we can utilize this bit of water and I like some early means of being able to decamify balloons, even though the middle part of heli can innately detect camo balloons, so we don't have to worry about that, but we want to worry about what's presented right in front of us, which is just getting through these rounds. Even if the balloons do escape over here, we do have another opportunity over here in order to pop them, so hopefully we can do so. Excellent. Get your roller down for round nine, and then put your back of the map so that you're not going to be a nuisance um, in the midsection or the late section. Oh, gee, yeah, late section of the map over here. Only the very end. There we go. Nice. Round 10. Hopefully we don't need anything else. But if we do, it's going to be something for like round 15. Do we need twin guns or can we hold off? Round 10. Big blue balloon batch. No thanks. I don't want to deal with y'all. But I'm going to have to deal with y'all. And there we go go just about in the comment sections below tell me what your favorite aspect about the middle path heli pilot is it could be down to the marine itself it could be the blowback or it could just be the design of the helicopter itself like it's honestly one of the best looking helicopters within the game but it's like all of the helicopter designers kind of rock in their own ways like there's not a single bad uh, helicopter design but it's like but the, the helicopter itself, the Chinook, is such a good looking helicopter. We may need some help for round 13 because both of these towers are not going to cut it. So yeah, we're going to need to be uh, twin guns. Round 13 done. No problems whatsoever with a faster fire rate. Round 15. How are we going to deal with this round? Put you on strong so we target the pink balloons first if they're within our range. But yellow balloons. Yellow balloons. Sorry, I lost my cool there. But yellow balloons are obviously giving me some kind of trauma from my many experiences of deaths by yellow balloons. And now we've got two of... Oh, green balloon. Nice! Round 16 is also completed. As long as a green balloon doesn't escape up here. Blue balloons... Oh, great. I thought it was completed. But no, I decided to talk too soon. Definitely a balance between strong and fur so that we're targeting balloons, but we're not always, like... Not always targeting the first... Uh, balloon. Why is it just one red? There we go. That's much better. It's always, like, down to one red at times. It's so annoying. It's like... I know I can do it. I'd rather lose to a larger crowd of balloons rather than the same thing. Well, that's... Yeah, exactly, Geraldo. It simply will not do in any given way, shape, or form. Good. Last to first. I honestly think we're going to put the heli pilot at the back of the map here. Near enough where our Geraldo is here, really. Yeah, this part of the map here is very ideal to have the heli just because of the fact that um, you can attack at the beginning and attack at this portion of the map as well. Don't want to waste our money on anything else, so we're just going to have ourselves a stack of old nails. No, we can actually pop this by default. Good. I would say, why need the stack of old nails when you can just simply pop the camo balloon yourself? I'm glad I have the foresight to look into that. Also, we're going to go with faster firing because once we get the special operations, the faster starts and faster firing also benefits the um the marine itself okay i'm gonna put you in the very back of a map here and we'll be able to get a acidic mixture dip definitely it won't benefit the marine i believe yeah anything like that just doesn't benefit marine and neither will overclock but call to arms and homeland defense do benefit marines move you over here got regrow balloons no good oh great yeah unlike the comanche commander run we did previously we are very heavily reliant on geraldo buffs we'll just go with pickles and worry about the regrow balloons later on here because we try to pop everything all at once but there we actually saved them until last when we're trying to merge them all together when it comes to popping them round 33 
three. It doesn't say that we do bonus damage against camouflage, unlike other military upgrades. So spy plane on the ace and night vision goggles from the sniper. All right, we're going to get ourselves downdraft very soon. Don't want to upgrade, although we do need to submerge you at some point. But not right now. We still kind of need the additional firepower. At this given point in time, downdraft is now here. All right, here we go, round 36. Yeah, but that, the blowback uh, capabilities of downdraft have decreased over the past few updates. I don't know what I'm reading. It's just update 38 recently in which the blowback rate has decreased. So, yeah. I don't know where I got that bit of info from. Info, myself. Verified by. Nobody. Corrected by. Uh, the internet. Round 36. Should be done, Dustin, now that we have pickles. What I can see as a change in this game. Ninja Kiri will remove the damage buff from early pickles. So you just get the attack speed drop and nothing else. I just wish we can pop leads more reliably. Come on now, please. What was with this? Yeah, I think um, the acidic mixture dip is affected by the downdraft. So every time we perform a downdraft, it also affects the AMD. Yeah, we need to slow down these lead balloons. How about a little glob of glue over here to slow them down? There we go. Although, because of a blowback, it means that chunked back balloons have also been affected by it. There goes round 37. It took a long time, but we finally were able to do it. And we run out of glue, so we need to put some more down. Yeah, we could use of an MIB. Be, although we could just get Joe's fire to circumvent our weakness to lead balloons. Hmm, lead balloons are still a problem though. That's an issue. It's like AMD, it barely affects the heli pilot because of the downdraft blowback. We get a sharpening stone so that then each of our AMD darts are benefited by the additional pierce. But still, I'm not holding out hope for this, um, this deer upgrade. Right, deal with the early lead balloons. Kind of going a little bit better since we're benefiting from the additional pierce, but... Oh, it's really nice. I don't like that. I need Jerry's fire. We do have to contest with the regrow balloons on this round, so I'm thinking hopefully we can deal with those last by having them... Um, but then again, there's still the, uh, the submarine. It's also the frontmost balloons. No! I guess we have to get you early, but I really didn't want to just because of... Um, Cost restraints of this scenario. There you go, that's much easier thanks to Jerry's fire. <laughs> Everything can be made easier with Jerry's fire. Speaking of which, let us now submerge you since we now have access to Jerry's fire. You need to save for the Chinook and then go from there. There's a support Chinook. And we should now have the means of getting our tier 4 heli here. Which Benefits the blowback right now, so it was back to before when it was nerfed with a downdraft. The change for Jerry's fire to orbit around the helicopter itself, rather than orbiting the heli pad itself, I think greatly benefits the middle path heli for two megapots the very most, just because it has a huge struggle against, um, well, what we've got going on here, and having it always be like this is really nice to have. Round 49, becoming a bit of a pierce issue here, but we should have this in the bag. Doesn't look like it's in the bag. And I think I know why. And a village with jungle drums will also go a long way. Also, if you activate the support chinook's ability, you get nothing out of it. No cash, no lives restored because this is gyms. You don't get income and you don't get lives restored, okay? Also, there's a much easier round 49. It's not the single Moa Vespi issue. It's dealing with multiple that could be an issue. Yeah, I used to think that uh, special populations to make bots was impossible just because of a process to get to there. And people have been able to find a way to get to make pots with the special populations without Geraldo which um, was honestly insane. And it was done before Geraldo was even introduced, which again was insane. Being a little bit hectic at the back of the map here, but I didn't have a good start of this round. 
my monitor flicks on and off temporarily. Yeah, again, a pierce issue going on here. It's always down to pierce at the end of the day. If you don't have enough pierce, you can't get through the horde of balloons which are your way. What could be very nice for round 63 is a 032 glue guys, just so that we can control the speed of the huge hordes of ceramics on that round. Yeah, I like this middle part of the track here. It's really nice. Blowback balloons which are at the very beginning, but also damage balloons which are within this little section of the map by the fish sign. You yeah, honestly need a new HDMI cable for my uh, monitor here, because I had a similar issue with my Nintendo Switch, but it was much worse we kept flickering on and off every 30 seconds or so and it, the issue was immediately fixed by replacing the hdmi cable we go from there bfb round 60 we managed to do this i think oh yeah this round 61 and all the regrow ass there's regrow balloons on round 61 I'd love to just be able to pop them all because I feel like at some point we're going to get incredibly pierce capped here because we're blowing back these zebra balloons. Oh, very tight. But then also the Boabs, which are also annoying. This is not a good scenario. Not a good scenario. Oh, oh come off it, really? Look at the most difficult aspects of it and we died to that. I feel an incredible disturbance in the force as many redditors go to write an angry comment about how I managed to slip up on that. Yeah, these regrow balloons are big pain in the backside for dealing with early on around because it's such a huge distraction in order to, to get to the true threat of around, which are these mower class balloons. So annoying. <laughs> I can't get damage of them soon enough. And I guess I just have to improvise with another kind of blue gunner. One that slows the Moabs down. And that works out great since now we can deal with these Moab class balloons much earlier on within the map. And they're clumped up together, which is quite nice because of the blowback. Good, 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 good. Wait, we also got the fortified Moabs of this round. Stop being blocked by the purple balloons. Now we've got regrow balloons again. Oh, I forgot about that round 62. You get regrow rainbows to contest with, which are distracting me from these fortified mohaps. Oh, thank you for being... I don't know what to say. Should we get an MIP? But then again, they'll just take away so much money for me to be able to get the... Um... Needs to be able to get the special populations in the first place. I feel like at some point, support chinic, no matter how much you buff it, is just going to be impossible to get the special populations upgrade because you spend too much getting on getting other towers. And that's my complaint about expert map chimps. I feel like there is no possible way of doing expert map chimps because there just simply is not enough money to get everything that you need in order to go for one of those scenarios. Oh, if it gets stronger stimulant, and hopefully this will help me out. But again, you're using that money in which you don't need to. Okay, this is much better. But again, the regrow balloons are going to be the main issue here because they're just going to multiply in numbers. And we're going to be pierce capped again. Or are we? Oh, that, oh my god, that single red balloon wants to give me a jump scare, for goodness sakes. I know it's October, but please don't scare me like that. Okay, much better. The strongest stimulant did help. Okay, now round 63. If we can contain them to this portion of the map, that would be great, so that our creepy idol can come into effect. But knowing me, that's not going to work because of all this piss we need to do here. Oh, they're going to escape down to the other portions of the map, aren't they? Please hold on. I don't want to go to the other parts where I'm much weaker on the map because of a lack of creepy idol support. Oh, I'm going to have to move over here. going to have to move over here. But, oh, these ceramic balloons. Oh, gosh, I hate you. I hate getting two mega boss with this tower because of this said scenario, but the round is now calming down. At what cost, though? At what cost? 
a lot of money. And no, I'm not one of those people that can insanely do a two megapots with special operations without Geraldo. I need Geraldo because I'm not good enough at the game. Round 65 could pose some issues now that we don't have a creepy idols to help us out. Once again, stupidly locked out by Pierce Cap. Okay, but the glue hose is really helping us out here to ensure that we can glue these smaller balloons so that we can deal with the true threats of around the BFBs. That's one done now, both of them done. It does have a lot of damage, but it's just distributing that damage. I think that's just the worst aspect of the middle part of Heli. It's the distribution of its damage, rather than the damage itself. We're now 13k away exactly <laughs> from getting special operations. Okay, now we've got regrow balloons again. Uh, regrow balloons are a problem because of a blow bag being an actual nerf in some cases. Because of dealing with the population explosion. One who I've yet to do a two megapots with, which some people say is quite viable, is Brickle. Um, yeah, a, <laughs> that's going to be a strategy in and of itself to try and fab them out. There's a lot of balloons around 69, but at least we don't have any regrows or moabs to contest with. So everything can be contained. Although around 70... We do have regrow whites on this round, if I remember correctly. Yes, we do. So we have that as a bit of a population issue, although it's not as bad as, let's say, a um, a rainbow regrow issue, where those regrow into something that is stupidly uncontrollable. Can we do this round? Can we do this round? Yeah, both these glue guns are vital help at the moment regrow ceramics that's not going to be an issue is it <laughs> things have never gone well when it's a huge amount of regrow ceramics on the field although we are doing enough damage to be able to not have that issue of a population issue there we go so the BFB left. Let's call it a fortified BFB. It's not round 79, okay? Round 73 done and dusted. Yeah, dusted. Dusted off. Round 74 regrow fortified ceramics. Luckily, when the ceramic layer is gone and it regrows back into the ceramic layer, it no longer has the fortified aspect of it. That is only a temporary thing. Round 74, please bring down a dosh gear. Come on now, please. Please. Honestly, I need this. I need the special preparations before the end of round 75. Is that going to be possible, though? It doesn't look like it. Does it look like we need to spend even more money just to get through a round rather than the future rounds although most two make pop runs with the special cooperations does rely on the uh, quad darts rather than faster firing and faster darts set them in the incorrect order but still unlike spongebob who needs water while in sandy's dome i need it i need the special preparations uh, when my friends would arrive <laughs> yeah i'm on now i need to get to this portion of the map and boom finally we have some effective means of popping the balloons Okay, I'm going to save you over here so that then the Marine can deal with the Rico ceramics of that round. Wait, you benefit from those two? Nice. Although the pickles in the Marine's case is more of a nerf because the amount of damage it does is better. Actually, a nerf from, uh, I don't know now. Right now that we do have a special operations, we can turn that little feature off and we can go up to MIB so we don't have any issues with any kind of lead balloons later on, namely DTs. But then again, the Marine does have normal damage type by default, but I'd rather have it, especially for my Jerry's Fire as well. Also, more importantly, we're going to go up to Core to Arms, and if we can afford it, the uh, Homeland Defense as well, so we can benefit our Marines even more. Yeah, the hardest section of the game is now done and dusted. Just getting the upgrade itself 
<laughs> but then again, that could be said about any two Mega Pop scenarios. But in this case, it's more true than most others. And there goes the Zoom G. Nice. Yeah, this is just going to be the death zone along here. Because we're going to have our Marines here. The plenty of opportunities for them to pop the balloons, etc. But it is odd for the Marines to have the icon of the Sharpling Stone displayed. Because if we put you over this... And then, obviously, give you that again. You have... Oh, you disappeared. You have the Sharpening Stone icon. But you have the normal damage type by default. Which is really bizarre. Unless you have two damage types, depending on the... You have different types of darts that fire out. Now I don't know anymore. These also work really well against Super Ceramics as well, these Marines. They make light work of them, which is really nice. As I named our heli pilot Space Marines, I just want one of these Marines to just be like an Ultramarine with a plasma gun just vaporizing everything inside. Oh, I do talk about Warhammer 40k just a little bit too much on the channel, but I like it. It's one of the most grim, dark fictions that there are out there. Fantasies, more accurately. Four, no, not four of them. Call to arms, call, call to arms. Call fourth call to arms, that's better. Oh my god, we're keeping these blown back. And also, I think the blowback's pierce increases when getting up to special operations, which is effective for prolonging the round if you need some abilities to come back. So let's say call to arms. May not entirely need it for, let's say, round 89, but it's just nice to have for future rounds. Let's say DDT's round 89, done and done. Dusted. Okay, round 90. How are we going to do with this round? Marines, obviously. There we go. Yeah, we'll definitely have the money to get a homeland defense. I feel like that is really going to help us out when it comes to pops. Z-O-M-G's left of this round. Honestly, round 92 can be a bit of a pickle in some scenarios because of the fortified modes. But both fast and very strong. Round 92, done and dusted. Round 93, and we give them both of these the, um, the invisibility potion first, just because I don't have camera station. They could bypass this if given enough speed and DDTs. But we will refresh though in Geraldo's shop, and. Oh, still no refresh. That's okay. We can do it in the next round. Yeah, the majority of the run, this is going to be smooth sailing from here on out. No worries whatsoever. You could benefit from the invisibility potion, actually. <laughs> Give you extended range. Here we go, here we go. Uh, put another one of you down. And is that going to be round? That is round. And now you have that. We're going to put you on there. And I think this round is officially... Donzos, DDTs. We have got this. We have so got this. We have definitely got this. I mean, the Marines have got this. I don't got this, but the Marines have. Oh my god, they did escape to the back of the map there. No thanks, don't want that. Well, since the Marine was placed further back of the map, it does delay our means of being able to pop these balloons. But nonetheless, we are still good. We're going to get ourselves Homeland Defense by the end of this round. Or even before then, actually. Nice. 100% <laughs> Pierce. 100% additional attack speed. <laughs> good, 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 good. Imagine if Marines don't contribute towards the pop count of the special population heli. And you have to entirely rely on just the heli itself. Like people say that perhaps Geraldo's fire should not contribute towards the town which is attached to, but contribute towards Geraldo himself because it's technically his shop item. Round 98, the most formidable of the rounds in a chimp's run, although round 100 could definitely be the most formidable run because it tests your single target damage. Damage, damage, damage. Okay. Get those down. This is really rare for a run. Not a single engineer at all throughout this entire run, which is absolutely absurd because normally you'd have an overclock for these scenarios, but in this case, 
not a given because of the fact that we're relying on external means like the marine to give a majority of our pops here and we have a run sorted this is a very good spot for round 99 uh, get through strikes, so do some extra damage against the bad, and here we go. Oh, come on now, come on now, come on now. Oh, last one hit. Please we popped. Thank you. Don't want to deal with that bonus again. Okay. B D BS. Don't want to deal with that BS again. Ah, pretty nice. And since you fire a lot, it means you do really benefit from the uh, glue strike here and that should be it should be question mark i'm gonna put you down here just so that you're able to affect balloons on the later portions of the track here good 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 yeah this is done and dusted this is the run here definitely the run oh so the run these space marines have done me well thank you all so much for watching it but my god look at that undercount I suppose that's what happens when a projectile is fired out from the marine and the marine itself disappears. So that's definitely undercounted. That is an undercounted scenario. Usually it's 2 million 42,000 something. 538? Maybe I guess wrong. Thank you all so much for watching. This has been a, um, well, the half of this video has been rather stressful and the other half has been um, mostly chilled. Just remember to press your um, marine ability and you should be good. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know if you thought of the video down in the comment sections below of oh, the, the Twisty Desert. And as ever, if you want to help me out, aside from liking, commenting, and subscribing, if you've not done so already, then please, by all means, use my creator support code whenever you are in the store. It greatly helps me out as a creator. Thank you all so much for watching, and take care of yourselves, everybody.